Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm delighted to be joined by the truck, Lorenzo Simpson. How are you, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So, Lorenzo, you're at the airport at the moment. Yeah. Where are you travelling to? Are you hear me now? I can hear you now. All right, yeah, yeah. All right. We may go to Miami now so we can see different 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 uh looks of spawn. We just had Vegas spawn guys. So we just moving around, getting some work. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, you uh recently announced uh, huge news that you've signed uh, an advisory deal with MTK Global, which yeah. is uh big big for MTK and also big for you in your career. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, I feel like they're going they to help build my team and push me along and help me move to the uh, to the to the legend and to the champion that I need to be. So you've been pro now for uh, a couple of years. Obviously, you had a, a brilliant amateur career. You won multiple national titles and Golden Gloves. But um, this is the pro game now. You're eight and zero, and you're ready to really make a mark, Lorenzo. Yeah, I've been pro for like a year and a half. Uh, I don't really look to, I don't really, like, carry you on my amateur things, even though it was good, and uh, I was one of the best amateurs in the world. It was cool, it's the past, I want to show the whole world about how I am as a professional. So, obviously, a lot of people won't know why you're called The Truck, so where did the name come from, The Truck? Uh, my coach gave me that name, I can't remember why he gave me that name. But he gave me that name, and it carried on, and, and it, it, lead to, it led to many big things. Do you feel any pressure that everyone talks about you and, and, and says you're going to be a future superstar, a future world champion? Do you feel that pressure? No, not really. I don't feel the pressure. I think pressure comes when you really, like, it's unexpected or you don't believe in yourself. I ain't pressure because I, this has been my dream my whole life, and this, this is what I've been grinding for. This is what I've been working for for the whole 15 years out of my 20 years of age. So uh, I'm just waiting on the time. I've been talking to a few people at MTK Global since yesterday and, you know, they tell me that they're so happy to be kind of helping you guide your career and also having your uncle Raheem involved. He's very influential to you, isn't he, your uncle? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Me and him, we go the whole way together. Without him, it's no me. Without me, it's no him. We, we like a package. When you look at the stable that MTK have got, you know, your Billy Joe Saunders, your Tyson Furies, etc., they've got one of the best stables management and obviously they advise a lot of fighters as well uh, in the whole world. They're, they have fighters with all promotional companies. So it's a huge team to be a part of. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely they got the best person in boxing, I think, right now with, with that being Tyson Fury. So uh, it shows what they can do. Uh, they took him a long way. Billy Joe, Josh Taylor, uh, Michael Collin. All them guys. And I, I've always been different. I've been different my whole life. I always did things different. People didn't, under, people didn't understand. People didn't see the vision. But at the end, it always came out. And people were like, oh, dang, that kid, he just do things different. Like, he that kid. So, with me being the first United States person, it's just another historical moment. Absolutely. I was going to come on to that. That um, for MTK, you're the first American-born fighter to, to sign uh, a deal with them. So... That, that, that's, a, that's a big moment for MTK as well as yourself. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Um, you're from Baltimore. Yeah. In the UK, <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. In the UK, when we hear Baltimore, we just, we do, we think of the wire. We think of the wire straight away. Yeah, I, was, I was young doing the wire. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know how, like, the wire fits to now. But it's still kind of tough. It's still tough in Baltimore. But, uh, like, I'm used to it, so it ain't really it ain't really that much to me. That's where I'm from. So you you featured on um, a DAZN card uh, last year, didn't you? Yeah. 
yeah. So you've already, like I said, you've had experience at, on fighting on, on big broadcasters, etc. But now, now's the time for you to really kind of push yourself and we see how good you really are, Lorenzo. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we may get these step up soon. And uh, definitely, most likely will be international and you, and America. But definitely, I'm trying to be a worldwide name. So uh, the move was great. Do you have plans to come and fight in the UK soon? Yeah, definitely. I love UK fans. Every time I get on live on Instagram or I post a picture in the gym, they always say, love from the UK, love from the UK. So I, I think I think I can build a, 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 a uh, I can build a bigger fan base over there so I can have two different countries. That would be amazing. Mm. I mean, I know you obviously – um, eight fights in now, but you've, you've, your experience at sparring some of the top level professionals is quite high as well, isn't it? Tell me some of the people that you've sparred in your in your career as well. Uh, I sparred Terrence Crawford. Uh, I sparred Dennis Doglin, uh, Jared Hurd, Javante Davis. I sparred most Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson. I sparred, I sparred all these guys. I grew up with all these guys. So, uh, they just got their time now, so my time is coming. And, I, and I'm waiting, just experiencing the things to, for my time to come. Absolutely, absolutely. So you're you're traveling now from Vegas to Miami, is that right? Yeah. So you you're going to train in Miami. Is that the reason for you going there? Yeah, go punch on a little couple of people and then go home. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds great. Uh, Lorenzo, could we have a, a quick word with your uh, your uncle Raheem? Is that all right? Hey, how you going? How you doing, how you doing? Great. Great. You look all uh, like you're taking all the security and safety measures. I practice social distance, man. It's Corona real. You know what I mean? I, I'm, 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 I'm being careful. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> it was great to hear from uh, Lorenzo there, but I just wanted you to talk about uh, Lorenzo's deal with MTK. And I know MTK speak very highly of you as well, Raheem, and they're, they're pleased that you both are on board with MTK. Well, I mean, I just thought that um, me and Lorenzo, we've been, uh, we, we, we done been at the table with everybody, the Al Hamans, the, uh, the top ranks, the uh, Eddie Hearns, we just sat at the table with everybody, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, we get calls every day about this, about that. He more, he pretty much handles the fight and I pretty much handles the business. You know, when I spoke with MTK Global, they, I told him my vision, they understood it. And it was just a match making heaven, what the whole wants to be said, you know what I mean? I think they can bring a lot of value to what we already do. And I'm looking forward to it, you know what I mean? And, and it's something new, you know. I don't, I don't got to, you know. When you got when you got somebody over there, it's like over here. A lot of times you got to follow protocol, and I and we and we and we and we uh we can be pretty much buck the protocol. We are gonna do it our way, you know what I'm saying? We are gonna take our time. There's no rush, you know. We living comfortable, you know what I'm saying? We are not rich, but we living comfortable. So at the end of the day, you know, when you got somebody else, and we going to the UK, it's never been done. You know, no American stars. We want to be priority. To be honest with you, he's been a star since he was a kid. You know what I'm saying? His record is crazy. Speak for himself, how many titles he has. So he used to he used to attention. So we have to give him attention. So a lot of times, and we ain't first priority, we don't want to play. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think that they we, I think that we're that guy in, in 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 America, and I think it's gonna open the door up for a lot of more guys in America to come to MTK. That's Absolutely. what I think they're gonna do. But boxing's full of, as you well know, uh, Raheem, boxing's full of uh, politics and there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes which kind of can they can benefit someone's career, but they can also slow down someone's career. So for you to have someone like MTK behind uh, Raheem it is, uh, is very important that you can, you can trust the people that are behind you. At the end of the day, you know, we know at some point we need a machine, but we're doing great, you know what I'm saying, uh, moving our stuff. We, have, we also have our own shows in Baltimore. Three of his fights were on our own card that, that he's a part of, Shabazz Brothers and myself. So... And we got, and even right now during the pandemic, we we fought, we we ready to fight two times too much. We are not sitting on the bench. We I, I got a whole lot of connections over the years. I've been around the game a long time with Hashim Rockman, the, the Dawn Kings. So I just sat back and I sucked it all up. So um, it's, it's, it was, I think it's four champions. Let's see, one, two, three. What is four champions out of Baltimore, and two of them I was involved in Javante Davis and 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 and, and uh and Hassan Rockman. I had to play the part in it, but I just played I played the back and I just sucked it all up. I sucked it all up. Now Joe Gaines is he's an old man. I, I wasn't at that much of my time. And then you had uh uh, uh what's the other guy the, um Matt Lewis that was a champion. He was a little he, he was a little older. But pretty much, you know, 
if, if, if I could say that I had involvement, some kind of way played a role in three championships, which is Lorenzo being the one out of the five that would come out of town, that's a good record <laughs> for a guy you never heard of. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I hear you. I hear you. Um, well, listen, I, it was just an introductory uh, interview. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of ch opportunities for us to kind of get to know Lorenzo more and introduce him more to the to the UK fans over here. So we we'll look forward to that. Yeah, um, the UK beautiful. I came over there when uh, Tank Devontae came over there for it. I was in the UK. When he fought so Walsh, was, yeah. Yeah, I, I was over there and, and, and I was surprised that the, the, the UK fans showed him love for him to be fighting the UK guy. And I was impressed. And that's another reason, like, man, these UK fans are really boxing fans. You know what I mean? And so, like, when this opportunity came, it was a no-brainer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's, 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 let's make it happen. Absolutely. Uh, but like I said, I appreciate your time uh, this afternoon for you because I know you're obviously travelling. I'm sure we'll have plenty of other opportunities to do, uh, to do more interviews. So I appreciate your time. Right. And, and we and we learned how to use the Zoom and all. That's why we could we could get the sound right. Yeah, that's <laughs> all right. Everyone's gone through that. I didn't know what Zoom was until three, four months ago either. So it's funny because I had to have a business meeting on the Zoom, and somebody just put this on my phone. So that's why I'm able to use it because I just use it maybe once or twice. <laughs> right. Now you'll find yourself using it a lot more. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, could I just finish off by talking to Lorenzo? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Raheem. Um, Lorenzo, appreciate your time. Just finally, do you have a fight date when you potentially, what month you could be returning to in? Uh, I just fought. Uh, when I just fought? Maybe a few weeks ago, maybe. Weeks. I just fought like four weeks ago until I'm fighting again on uh, August 29th versus uh, some guy, 11-0, eight, knockout. eight knockouts, uh, August 29th on CBS Sports. So that would be my next fight uh, that I'm getting ready for now. Okay, great, great, great. Um, Lorenzo and, and Raheem, I appreciate your time, like I said, and hopefully the next time we speak to each other, it will be in person. So uh, congratulations on your deal with MTK and uh, uh, may good things happen for you. Thank you. I appreciate you too. Thank you. Thank you very much.